merge only X, Y, and Z charts. Um, this is, uh, sometimes you want to keep your X, Y, Z uh, charts in one, with one method and uh, keep your uh, uh, other chart types like the T, the diameter, all those in a full trend with statistics. X, Y, Z is only used for reference just to show what the trend of the X, Y, Z is or just uh, how those points, the components of the points are varying and the SPC is only done on the true position or the T values or anything like that. So in that particular case, we, instead of merging, if I do merge by nominal position, it's gonna look, anything that belongs to the same nominal will get um, located into one big chart. So your X, Y, Z and your T value all gets grouped into one chart type and you can only use one chart type to, to represent all of them. With this method of merging X, Y, Z charts to a separate chart type for that same feature, you can assign that to a different chart type, maybe a lean chart for that, just to show relevant information for X, Y, and Z. But your quality engineers can focus on the on the T values or all the on the profiles and on the deviations or all on the G, D, and T points. Um, allows you to separate your your G, D, and T from the X, Y, Z and create a create a XYZ. And if you want to hide those ones, it's very easy now because now you can just hide those XYZ charts because they are grouped together. Um, you can make them point boxes and not show up on the on the report. So uh, this new option of merge by XYZ allows you to do that. Um, I'm uh, going to take maybe a sample uh, template. Um, let me take uh, the Face layout. So ability to go to uh, tools, merge data, uh, just choosing merge X, Y, Z charts only. So now I'm gonna, it's gonna group all the points that belong to an X, Y, Z into, into a chart. And now I can assign all these X, Y, Z charts to a different, uh, different format. Uh, so it's, it's very easy for me to now go and go to edit chart page, search and add all the points that are that are merged. Typically the way to find the merged ones are by doing a star underscore X star. So I would find all my chart, all my points that belong to, to the, uh, to a certain X, Y, and Z. And I can quickly change that chart type to, uh, just in this particular case, I'm gonna make them a, uh, a measurement name chart just to uh, make it a lighter version of it. So all my um, so all my X Y Z is merged, and I only see the charts for my X Y uh, for my T values. Uh, this is one flavor of it, but the other part, other flavor of it is as shown in the uh, uh, in in the uh, PowerPoint that you can, you can group these X, Y, Z charts and assign them to a different chart type of whatever you're choosing, however light or heavy you wanna keep the X, Y, Z points. You could have them with trend charts or you can have them just as a measurement name chart just to show the information. Okay. I'm gonna close this. Go to the next topic. Um, 